Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be one of my favorite topics. It's going to be how to cut lanes in rank play. If you guys don't know the concept, basically when you're in a scenario like hardpoint or control or even search and destroy, the concept of cutting lanes, right, is basically pushing up, getting map pressure and killing people on kind of on the rotation as they're trying to break the hill. And I think this first clip puts it really, really into perspective of how important it is. So let's get right into the video again. Hope you guys enjoy these style of videos. Just they take a little bit more work, but I really enjoy them. So let's get right into it. Starting off on the first clip, we're on Rio. If we look on the mini map, right, my teammates are all on my right hand side. So basically, they're on P3 on Rio. And in this scenario, I'm pushed up because I want to kill the players as they're sprinting. That's my kind of goal here. So when we go through, this is a perfect example. That player there, they are trying to get to the hill. So for them, they're trying to close that distance down, right? So they're going to be running towards the hill. So for me, these are easier kills to get. So we go through, take out the first player. As soon as I get that first kill, I know I'm a red dot on the map. They're going to be pre-aiming that side. So we go through, we reposition, we slide away, and we take the same gunfight from a different angle. So we go through, we go through, go through. Now, if they looked on the minimap, right, they would see me basically on my left. So they should hopefully not see me here. Now, I'm essentially a free life here. Me pushed up to this spot is only helping the team because now my team kind of feel a bit more relieved. They're like, oh, okay, we have an arrow in middle map. No one should be middle map without our teammate either getting the kill or dying. So we get some sort of information. So now they know they only have to worry about the left and the right. And it just really helps everyone control the game. So we're going through, I'm gonna be watching, waiting, watching over, and there you go, there's the second kill. Straight away, we back away, we back away, try to change the gunfight, we go through again. And this is just really good timing here. Like this actually works out perfectly. I'm actually gonna rewind it instead of pausing it, just kind of show you this clip because i think this one was a perfect one so we go through we get the first one again we back away reposition we kind of fight for the second now i'm just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting every kill i get is just going to slow their push down we get the second reposition once again get the third go through the left out i'm going to pre-aim it pre-aim it again and again it's just it's just simple at this point now this is really important once again if you look at the mini map my teammate behind me has picked up the left lane so now i feel more confident playing on this side of the map knowing that they can't really flank me so you're going to go through going to wait now they're coming through the right hand side if we look at the mini map so i'm assuming they're going to go through this right esky so we're holding it another kill they're just pushing me constantly so i'm just going to hold it through different angles another one pushes me another kill we go through and at this point it's just like, I thought like they should have killed me by now, to be honest, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to hold the angle. Now, I know people are probably saying bot lobby, all this, but honestly, this was a crimson lobby, and I do think they should have killed me, but I can't do anything about that. My job is to get the kills there. If they don't manage to trade me, I can't complain. So people saying bot lobby, honestly, it is what it is. It's a part of the game. You just have to deal with what's in front of you, and I agree to an extent that that wasn't the best uh, lobby to go against but i think it was a good example on to skid row now obviously this map is out of the rotation a lot of these clips are kind of older because again the style of video i'm trying to make is more kind of combining clips together but this is the same kind of application right so we go through we get the first player as soon as we go through i'm looking at the mini map my teammate now spawns in the alley on my left okay straight away my brain processes that right my teammate spawned in the alley Let's turn around because they're going to spawn P2, the second hard point. So we turn around, we turn around. As soon as we get this kill, we turn around. There you go. My teammate spawns. Let's get out of here. I now think, okay, with timing, they could push me here. They could push me. So we go through, we go through. And we're just trying to cut the lane here. So we're trying to get aggressive. And I'm going to peek the window. And there you go. Perfect timing right now. We take out one. We take out the second. So two people are dead. 20 seconds left and this is probably where it gets not complex but this is where i think if people can understand this kind of concept i think you'll be a lot better at hard point in my opinion anyways two people are down if they decide to push this left street now i'm going to trust my teammates to take care of that for me i'm not worried about the rotation because my teammates have the left alley we now are worried about middle, kind of the middle tunnel right underneath me, the garage, and the right tunnel. That's kind of my two concepts that I need to worry about right now. And if we look on the uh, mini-map, if you look on my right, if I was playing with a team now, I would tell my teammate on the right, okay, 15 seconds left, go to up apartment and watch underground for me. Watch this tunnel on my left, like just watch this garage for me, right? So I have to do that now myself because my teammate's not helping me. So in solo queue, you do take on a little bit more responsibility in times like this, which is fine, but you need to understand it and not really stress about it because it helps your game awareness. So we go through, we go through. So if you guys are playing in a team, this is what you should tell your teammates, right? There's two lanes. You need to pick up this lane. I'm going to the right. I go through, I chuck a stun grenade here. Again, I can't hold both lanes right now. So me chucking a stun should just give me some information, but I'm gonna go through to the right i think they're going to come through the right so we jump around we jump around and there you go we see two people 
if my teammate wanted to pick up that middle garage for me, right, I wouldn't have chucked the stun grenade and I would have been a second quicker. And that second would have allowed me to get the two piece there, I think. So it's just little plays like that. We go through, we go through. I could have been a little bit quicker here, could have chucked a stun. And now I knew that we're going to go through the right based on the minimap. We go through, we go through, and I'm a little bit late. So we do end up taking out one. I think it was a good play for me, but again, maybe a little bit quicker would have been perfect. But it's just a good example of cutting the lanes here as we move on nicely to invasion. Once again, hard point out of the rotation, concept still applies. We're in a scenario now where my teammates are kind of on my left. We're holding that side of the map. So I'm going to keep these guys trapped in, right? Cutting the lanes. I don't need to push this out. Where's the hard point? The hard point's behind me. There is no reason for me to go forward at this point. I don't want to push out because if I push ice cream, I'm going to flip the spawns and we are going to spawn ice cream and then we're going to be on the back foot. So all I'm trying to do right now is keep the opponents trapped on the left hand side. The grenades are coming in. My trophy's gone. If I'm them, I'm just keep on. I'm going to keep on nading that same spot. So straight away, I reposition. I go to the right. It's all about angles and taking on different ones at times. So we go through, we go through, we go through. And it's just about identifying the gap, right? So I spot the first one. We take him out. He's one shot. We go through. Get some good shots. So I'm going to back away. Again, as soon as we go through, I'm like, okay, this angle I thought was good. Doesn't work out. We back away. We take out one. I know the second player is pushing me now. I don't have a lot of options, so I'm just going to go for it because I'm so weak. We go through. We end up winning the gunfight. I think I got quite fortunate. He misses shots there. But this is where cutting the lanes is so, so crucial. There's so many things I can do there. I can back away, I can go forward, I can hold that angle, but instead I'm like, right, let me play by this tractor because I know going up against this tractor is very difficult because they have to basically jump out at me and then my teammates can shoot them in the crossfire. So we're going through and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and this is it. They are urgently rushing towards the hill. We're on 200 points, right? They're urgently rushing towards the hill. They're not even checking every corner. I'm sitting here, easy kill. We take out one, we take out two and I've literally just stopped their whole push. With 40 seconds left now, they have two people. They feel physically can't break the hill unless it's kind of like they kind of world star us right 2v4 it's very hard to break a hill so take our time we back away i know the third should be coming through the spawn right they don't push us and we end up getting the rest of the time there taking us nicely once again to an invasion hard point this time we're on p1 here my teammates get two people down look at the kill feed understand the map where are my teammates spawning well they're spawning on my left right they're spawning on that left side of the spawn so that means everyone else should be spawning on the right by palace in terms of their spawn point in terms of the enemies. So we go through, as soon as I see my teammate take out three, I now know there's potentially one player that's pushed out, but there's three players spawning up. So for me, I'd rather kill the spawners again, keep them trapped at the back, keep them spawning palace and let my teammates be 3v1. That's exactly what we do. We jump through. I know they're spawning here and there you go. We take out one. We sit on this kind of truck here and we watch in the middle. We take out the second. Again, I know they're going to be between these two areas. Go back to the, the tank here and we take out the third. When we look at that, it literally looks like I know exactly where they're going to be. And all it is is spawn knowledge, right? I know where they're going to be spawning, so I predict it. I predict it, and the timing just works out perfectly. We check middle again, but the timing has to be perfect. I have to run back in time. We be the aggressor. We go through. We get the three-piece. I just thought that was really effective stuff there. On to high rise and see what we can do here. I don't remember this clip, so we'll let it play out. We take out one. Going to go behind the second. Yeah, dead slide. There you go. There's a second one. Let's see what we do here and how we actually cut the lane. So I think in scenarios like this, kind of thinking out loud, most people don't like standing on this kind of um, this little block here because they feel like that once they stand on this block, they're kind of exposing themselves. But I think that if you can get one or two shots here on the block and then back away, I just think it's a lot more helpful. So right now, my teammates on the hill behind me, I'm actually going to push up slightly and kind of cut them through. And I guess that's kind of why I thought this was a, a clip for cutting lanes. It's about being a little bit aggressive on the hill. Okay, yeah, there you go. So I think what this was mainly was about, now that I kind of remember, is about being a little bit more aggressive on the hill instead of just sitting down and letting the pressure get to you, right? So right now, we go through, we go through. I chuck a stun, and again, I'm not afraid to get off the hill if it means getting more map pressure. So we cut this lane here, we take out one. And for some reason, I check this again, all timing. It literally looks like I got hacked right now. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't, I promise. It's just based on map awareness and game awareness. I just had a feeling, right, that no one's checked blue in a while, and they could have easily gone underground, right? So it's just a check. They, they could have easily not been here and I would have got back on the hill. But it's about not being afraid to cut those lanes where you think they could be. We go through and you see we get perfect timing. Again, they could have easily not been there 
there, it would have been no big deal. I would have got back on the hill. We go through a different angle. Now, while we're capturing this hill, I was able to get three kills there. And I think it just adds another layer for the opponents to play against. When you're on the hill and you're getting kills. Going through to P2 now onto Rio. What can we do here? Well, the first line of defense, we're actually playing quite deep here on the P2. We want to be pushed out a bit. So we're going to go through. I'm going to hopefully take out the first player. There you go. We spot the second. My teammate's pinching. Now we get two down. I'm looking at my team here and I'm like, right, we are playing way too deep. In my head, I'm like, right, we're playing way too reserved here. We have two people basically at the back of the hill. Like, we need to push out and we need to kill these players further up. This is a lot better of a spot for me up this uh, kind of truck here because you see where I'm pre-aiming now. I want to kill that player as they're sprinting out. I want to kill them kind of as far back as possible so they spawn even further back so i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna hold the lane the little stair glitch i'm gonna lie to you guys but it's all good go through go through and now no one's uh, holding my middle so i'm a little bit worried right now and no one's really pushing this side so i'm thinking okay this is when they might be setting up a pinch here but there you go there's one we're gonna take our time am i right i'm gonna trust my teammates to pick up middle doesn't really work out like that so we go through i'm gonna still kill this player while they're kind of out and then i'm gonna turn around my teammates get some help we go through we take out another player and again this is the weird scenario because no one picked up middle but me pushing out here just gives us a little bit of space so once i get a three piece i'm gonna reload i could easily just stay on the hill here right but instead of sitting back on the hill i'm gonna watch the front because now my teammates have middle i'm gonna cut the lanes it's all about controlling the lanes i should be on the hill here this is quite bad for me not being on the hill i didn't realize to be honest but we go through we get two now my teammates behind me it's okay we get a two piece gonna watch the left we get a three piece and it's just about putting pressure back on them basically same thing here on karachi we're on the, we're in a scenario right now where my teammates getting b instead of kind of flooding through with them i'm gonna take a route here works out perfectly the player doesn't see me i think they should have seen me i think they should i think they probably should have killed me there because i wasn't prepared for the gunfight which is on me but again we'll take it as it is he didn't kill me i think he should have but we move on we kill the first player now we're pushing through as soon as i see the second player in the minimap we go through we take them out this is perfect now my teammates are on the hill right i now know there's two areas for me to look at the alley in front of us that kind of cut um at the back of the map and the alley on my left that yellow alley so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna go through i'm gonna first watch this alley on my left and we take out the third we just got a triple kill in this scenario if we look at the minimap there's someone on my left we're not really going to think about that because we don't have time to react, right? But the main concept there was to cut the lanes, cut the people off that are trying to kill my team. And just, you can see all three of these players more focused on me. And that's the point of cutting the lanes, right? You're getting them while their attention is diverted. So we go through, we get a three piece. Although we get traded, my teammates now only have one player to deal with where they know he, he's kind of behind them. And we end up winning the round there. Really, really effective stuff. Onto high rise control. Have no clue what happens there. Let's kind of play it out and see what kind of goes on here. We take out the first player okay gonna push through in this scenario i mean i don't mind sitting back i don't mind pushing through either way i think as long as you kind of know where they're coming from okay so i, I remember why i put this in here now so in certain scenarios like this i've kind of sat back and just stayed here but it depends on map control if I have a teammate on A right now, watching the left, watching blue, I don't mind sitting here. Although it's a bit more reserved, right? Although I'm technically sitting at the back, I'm watching middle from a wider angle. So I like this spot. The reason I moved and the reason why, again, cutting lane is so important is because if they jump on A right now from blue, how do I stop them? I then have to get off the point, right? So I'm giving them the chance to catch me while sprinting. We don't want to do that. So I'm actually going to get there before they get there. Again, five seconds left. I mean, it's fairly obvious that they're going to push A right now. They're going to just sprint through. So I'm holding it. I'm pre-aiming it, holding the angle. And what do I do? I catch them in the sprint. It's all about catching the opponents in the sprint because that's when one, they least expect it. And then two, when it's the most dangerous. You kill them while they're sprinting because they think that area is safe. And that means they're going to start tweaking. They'll start panicking. They don't really know where to go. Taking us nicely into Vista hardpoint. Really, I really like this map. But yeah, anyway, side note, let's go through. We take a nice little shot on the left. We get a two piece i'm kind of weak here i'm watching over where can i be most valuable on the left hand side so let's go through let's watch it this isn't really cutting the lanes so let's see what kind of happens there but right now i wouldn't say this is cutting the lanes this is more kind of controlling certain angles but yeah anyways that was in the clip hope you guys enjoyed it regardless <laughs> going through on invasion we stun one we chuck a grenade there this is really important that player is now stunned he's gonna be watching dark alley Again, I now know if anybody on their team is Dark Alley, they're probably not going to push this area. So let me back away as we go through. I don't know why I added this clip. I think I was feeding myself with a shot there. We take out one. 
And this player now stunned, right? I could easily push that. The problem is, if I push that area, he could have somebody else in middle kind of watching that cut, right? As a, as a bit of a, uh, just a precaution. If someone else is middle right now, I have no information. So I can slide in and die, but I feel like we're back to square one. So instead, I'm going to cut through the right here, knowing that he's stunned. I'm going to flank them. And again, it's all about timing right now. I could easily get shot from my left here. It's all about the timing. We go through, we slide around the corner as quick as possible. I end up flanking them, taking out that player or marking that player, turning around again, all on the timing. Timing, and there you go. You can see the timing works out okay because I knew that player was eventually going to flank me. It was just about when. So we go through, we end up spotting that player, we end up marking him for my teammates, which my teammates hopefully can take out. We then turn around and we end up cutting the lanes. I probably could have got the kill at the start there, but again, just really important there to go through, cut the lanes. Three people down. What is the thing we're going to do now? Well, with three people down, we don't want to stand still, right? We don't want to sit here. We don't want to wait for them. We want to catch them in their spawn. We want to allow my team to get the point and get another wave of kills and start securing A. So for me, the best spot to sit is in DVD because I know they're going to spawn at the back. They're probably not going to expect this. We go through, we take our time, we hold the angle, we spot one, we take him out again. This, I just think this was really good play in my opinion. So let's kind of back away slowly. As my teammates get the three, it's about looking at the kill feed. All right, perfect. Let's push through. Let's get some more map pressure. Let's catch these guys. Let's get some free kills, basically. We spot one right there in the doorway. I'm not sure if you saw him. So slide cancel out. Easy kill. And what do I see on the right? I see somebody jumping over the tank there. So we're going to cut the lane, go through again, center onto where I expect him to be. We get a two-piece back to square one for that team. They have to back away. They have to once again escape their spawn. It's not going to be as easy as it was to kind of control the point. I think I spoke about this in the last video about cutting the lanes. Um, I spoke about that in a different context. So some of these clips are repeated, but again, it's about having a different message, a different context. So right now, if we're looking on the minimap, I expect them to either push through middle and get to uh, get to A or just kind of stack B because they probably think no one's at B. So instead of holding B from a deeper angle, I want to have these gunfights pushed out the map. I want to catch them in their spawn while they're running, kind of getting spawn traps. You look at this, I'm running, I'm running, I'm going through. This is where I want to have a gunfight. In fact, I want to have a gunfight even further back, but obviously the timing didn't work out because they had map pressure. So we go through, we take out the first player. Now, everything I'm doing right now is just to delay their push. All I'm doing is cutting the lane, delaying the push. We spot the second we get the kill go around we take out the third and all we're doing is literally just being annoying cutting their kind of lane just stopping them from getting the point into sub base here i kind of missed the bp50 man those guns were actually a lot of fun but anyways we go through we get a two piece now we're in a scenario where we're rotating to p1 right we have to be perfect the game is on the line here i know that they're spawning on the other side of the tunnel. They're spawning in front of us. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna try to keep them trapped there because the game's not over. We're still in this. So straight away, let's get the guy up the hill. We take him out. Immediately we turn around. Immediately we turn around. Why? Because I know they're spawning tunnel. I know they're spawning tunnel. So we have to get that gap. We have to make sure once we kill the player off the hill, we watch tunnel. Now, why didn't I watch tunnel now? Well, there's a player on the hill. If that player on the hill kills me, then there's no point pushing out, right? So let me go through, let me kill that player instantly turn around watch tunnel and it looks like perfection at that point and that's exactly what you want to do read the spawns read the map pressure cut those lanes taking us nicely to another clip we go through we spot the first player we take him out now where are my team spawning my team is spawning in this scenario on my right hand side in the tunnel so i now know the other team is spawning on my left hand side okay kind of basic spawn knowledge but it's about applying it to, um, to your gameplay you go through you take out the second Based on the spawns, I now know they have to be pushing my left-hand side. Once again, we don't want to wait here. If I sit here and pre aim what happens? That player, he might shoulder it. He might chuck equipment. He might be a bit more cautious than pushing out. So instead, I'm going to slide cancel round. And look at that. I take him out as he's sliding himself. We get the three-piece. We're going to push through to flip those spawns. It's just really effective stuff here. Sub-base again. I clearly was kind of frying on sub-base this day because three clips in a row on sub-base. We get to, we push up. Now, as we take out the third, right, I can easily back away in this right corner and sit there. But what I'm doing is I'm inviting pressure in. So right now, I'm going to push through. But this is really important. When I talk about map pressure and scenarios like this, it doesn't mean you want to push out to a point where you're overcommitting, right? You just want to hold an angle where they don't expect it because it's easier to get the kill and then you can always back away. So you can always back away and play your life. So right now, look at this. I don't expect them to hold this angle. I expect them to kind of push in and that's exactly what happens. That player there, I'm sure they didn't expect me to hold the angle. So we get another kill. I'm going to watch middle. And it's just about adding another layer to your hold or to your break just to really make it hard for them. 
we're going through what kind of hill we're we going to i think we're going back to i don't even know what hill was i don't even know what's going on right now but i'm pushed up right now they have to kind of push through middle i was going back to p1 yeah so they have to push through middle so i'm just pushing up and I, i'm just once again trying to get kills in a weird spot where they don't expect me to be we get another one we get two as soon as i kill this player I see two people on my left. We're going to go behind cover. Every kill I get now, it's just going to push them back. I'm probably going to die here, but if I can take out two or three with me, that will be amazing for the team, especially with how close the game is. So we go through, we snake it, we take out the third, we go through, almost take out the fourth air, and just like that, again, we're adding another layer to our defense. We don't want to be trapped at the back, right? We want to be pushing them out. Same thing, nice little two-piece here with the MTZ. We're going to push through. I know they're going to be spawning on the far right or tunnel. So if we look at the minimap, no one's picking up tunnel. So I'm like, all right, let me go through. Let me hold tunnel now. Someone else is on the hill. We're going to hold tunnel. We go through and take him out. Right there, don't be afraid to get off the hill if you think you have a more valuable play. Let somebody else pick up the hill in that scenario. Now, if you're just sitting on the hill and no one else is there and you feel like, you know, you need to get off the hill, then, then do it. But if you feel like you just want to get off the hill but no one else is there then you probably shouldn't it's all about what's best for the team right so right now um again same clip just wanted to kind of go over it again we take out the first player i see two more in tunnel so we take them out now there's four down i'm hoping that because i'm on the hill i'm just hoping that my teammate on the left can kind of, kind of shift towards the right to be honest i want the teammate behind me who's on the top snow i want him to pick up the far right I want the teammate on my left to pick up tunnel and I sit on the hill. And then we have a perfect setup. But in solo queue, it doesn't work out like that. People don't really listen to your, your brain because, I mean, they don't know what's going on, right? I want them to have a setup in my head, but it doesn't work out like that because they don't know what I want. So straight away, I have to adapt to my team's game plan. So this player now has given up the left and they're on the, they're on the hill. So I don't want to sit on the hill with them because then we're giving them map pressure, right? We're giving them a chance to break it. So straight away, I'm going to get off the hill. And we might lose, what, one or two seconds here because the teammate's not on the hill. I think he should either be on the hill or push to the left, not sit in between. So he should be on the hill right now. I'm going to give it up because I think picking up tunnel now is more useful. So we get that kill. And now you can see I'm actually shifting towards the right-hand side to pick up that as well. And it's just about having more map control, even if it means getting off the hill. Teammate's going through. We're going to watch middle. Good shot, so take out one. My teammates on the hill. Now, you can easily sit on the hill. Again, I think it just depends on your play style. depends how many people. But I'm actually going to go through, and I'm going to basically try to pinch them here. So we're taking our time. We're taking our time. And what I'm doing is just waiting, waiting till somebody's running out in the open. And I get really good timing. I get quite fortunate. They don't really think about this for some reason. I jump around the corner, and there's two of them there. Again, both of them tunnel visioned. It's about taking that different angle, cutting that lane. As soon as we get that kill, we're going to back away. I'm like, right, my teammates have that. Okay, I'm actually going to push on forward. Once again, be that first line of defense, going through and just kind of trapping them in the spawn. I find another one through middle. That's three down. The rest should be spawning up here. So we're going to push through and get towards A. We take out one player on Karachi, go through. Second one's right there. As soon as we kill that second player, I'm by myself. I know that my teammate's spawning behind me. They should be spawning on P2. So we're going to jump across there. I'm going to watch the left because I want to catch this player before he gets to the head glitch. And there you go. Really, really good play. We're actually going to push through. This is probably my favorite place. So let me rewind it. I think this one deserves some respect from myself. On Karachi, I've got a sub. I don't mind getting on the hill. But if I feel like I can be more valuable, I'm going to get off the hill and make a play. And this is exactly what happened. My teammate just spawned on my left. Really important. And this is why spawns are so crazy to know. Because if you know the spawns, it completely transforms everything. My teammate spawns on the left. Let's push through. We take out one. Okay. They should be spawning here. Let's just check it. Why not? We go through. We check it. Now, if nobody was there, all I would have done is chucked a stun, chucked a grenade, and gone to the right. I could have waited for a second here because my teammate's not on the hill, to be honest. I probably should have waited here. But I just think it's a lot more valuable, me pushing out. And I just want my teammates to be a bit quicker there. So in hindsight, probably could have waited on the hill um, instead of running out because it does look like I'm kill whoring. But again, that wasn't my intention. It was just, I wish my teammates sped up a little bit because I really think this was more valuable. If I'm the other teammate, I'm just not checking this corner. I, I never check this corner. I just run past it, right? So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There's one. Be patient. Have trigger discipline. There's going to be more than one. And there you go. There's two. Two's enough. I could take the gamble here. We take out one. We slide across. We take out the second. We jump into the other hill. And we end up winning that game based on that play. So we go through. What can we do here on the next hard point? We're on sub base. Breaking the game here. And I believe we got maybe one more clip here. So bear with us. This player jumps up. I actually messed up there. But centering saves us. We take out one. As soon as we go through here. We're in a terrible spot, by the way. But let's not, let's not worry about that. We kept the kill here. My teammates here, I don't want to spawn here anymore. I want to push out and I want to keep them trapped at the back. 
I don't mind spawning here, but I, I just want to have a bit of map control. So we take out the third. And again, this is about map pressure, about cutting the lanes. I know they're spawning on my left here. We need to get back into this game here. So I need to go big. So we're going to go through. One sneaks on by. Okay, you know what? I'm going to let him sneak on by. I'm going to let my teammates deal with that. I'm going to worry about the second player that spawns because then the player in the tunnel is going to feel like he's getting pinched. And I think that's a lot more crucial. So we're going through. We're going through. We're sliding. This player's not expecting it. We absolutely fry them, keep them in the back. Now, although I died here, it doesn't have an effect because I'm going to spawn on the hill again. They now have to push the hill with one man down. They have to delay their push. I don't have to delay anything because I'm the team defending it. And that is going to be the end of the clips and the end of the video. YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed that one, man. That was about a 30 minute video, 25 minute video. I personally think um, the I, I really enjoy these style of videos. I wish I had like an editor to maybe add effects and stuff or I might just have to put more time into it myself. But I do want to make these videos the kind of primary target of the channel for Warzone and Rank Play. I just I just prefer them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate the feedback. They're always, always, always helpful. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the support's been crazy, man. We're almost on like 19K now, which is insane. The journey to 20K is really, really close now. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Peace.